Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here are some of my low FODMAP pantry swap tips. If you can't tolerate the wheat in regular flour, then you can substitute a rice flour with added xanthan gum or a product with leaveners already added. Enjoy your baking just as much without the FODMAPs. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here are some of my low FODMAP pantry swap tips. If your tummy doesn't tolerate foods like pearl barley or couscous, then substitute rice or quinoa instead. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here are some of my low FODMAP pantry swap tips. If you can't tolerate regular pasta, then there are some amazing gluten-free and low FODMAP brands that you might try instead. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here are some of my greatest low FODMAP tips. You probably know that beans, chickpeas, and lentils are high in FODMAPs. But guess what? If you use a canned product and you rinse and drain it, the FODMAPs are leached out in the liquid that's used with canning, so you can enjoy a much larger serving size. Mm -hmm.